Welcome to Shorty Supercoach and welcome to the final press conference of the year. It's been a pretty strange old year, has 2020, but we are all done and dusted. And as you can see, I ended on a high note, which was good. Allowed me to win a couple of the leagues, which was great. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit late this one, isn't it? I probably, um, yeah, sort of checked out a little bit, but this is how my side went. It's quite some time now. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm all preparing for finals, uh, the proper finals. But, yeah, this is how my side went and, uh, you know, just, just had some really good scores. A lot of people would have had Crips, um, Ruck Department fired, and I brought in Luke Davies Uniac, which was an interesting one, but I just wanted to get a good look at him too. When a player's in your side, you tend to watch him closer. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely one for the future. Zach Williams will be an absolute lock next year. He'll go to Carlton, he'll be midfielder. We'll get him as a defender. He averaged well under what he should be doing. So he's a lock. Um, but yeah, so that's how my side went. Um, I'll take a look uh, at my leagues and give people a little bit credit there. Um, and then discuss a little bit of what I'll be doing sort of over the off season and... Um, and probably, yeah, just a few ideas I have going forward. But so this is how this one panned out. So, yeah, hopefully you had a nice old win in there. Connor did quite nicely there. And then the minor premiership also. Hopefully you can get a little bit of a kick out of just seeing your name in there if you're one of the people who jumped on board. Um, pretty high quality bunch of leaks we had in the end, which was really, really good. Um, thanks for everyone who... Who did join in it's been great um it always astonishes me how quickly the leagues fill up it really does but um there's tommy boy just getting it done there nice work mate um oh and i i won the minor one i didn't i didn't realize that but uh, i guess who celebrates minor premierships um i won the main one here so that was good Pretty, pretty tight game there. That was uh, that was a tough one. And I managed to win my mate's one as well. I beat Langers, who you might might have seen on the channel previously. So, And then James just getting the job done there. So we certainly had some leagues that were ranked pretty well. There's no doubt about that. I'm not exactly sure. I could easily check. Um, what do we got? 7.33... Let's scroll all the way back up in the top 2000. It's pretty reasonable. Top 400. That's really, really good. Whoa. Hello. Top two. Wow. That's, that's, what's that? Shorty's number two. Yeah. Nice. Real good. What number one get up to? Whoops. Oh boy. Yeah. So that's pretty damn good. All of them in the top thousand leagues. Aside from one, and that was still a pretty good effort. Yeah. Great work, guys. It's really good. Um, in terms of my year, um, reasonably happy. Like I said throughout the year, um, I don't know, a lot of it came down to luck. Um, without sort of sounding like sour grapes, there were times where you would make decisions and trades and then would find out that you had more issues than you thought because of the way the teams got revealed. They were sort of drip-fed. There was so much change. Sometimes we were making trades and not even knowing who was actually going to get picked on, say, a Sunday game or a Wednesday game or something like that. If I was super coach, I would have removed the um, ability for your trades to be set in stone once the round starts. I would have allowed a rolling lockout, so I would let people reverse them, um, providing that you know it was still feasible. Sometimes that still wouldn't have helped, but... Yeah, so it's it's something we'll never encounter again. But there were just moments where I found myself just not as engaged and therefore you, I made some blunders with, with some trades. I missed a downgrade one day. Um, some captaincy options I buggered up. So I'll, I'll take the top 5,000. I finished really well there. Um, it's not to make excuses. I think it's just life. I'm sure out there you agree that sometimes it was hard to really be engaged and there were times where it was difficult to know what to do because there was uncertainty about the sides and basically in short i always say that in supercoach i reckon there's 75 percent research knowledge gut feel picking your side correctly 
and 25% luck. There's always a bit of luck. This year, I reckon it was 60% knowledge and education and planning and 40% luck. There, there just was a lot more luck involved. I'm sure the best teams were still going to be some of the best sides, but uh, there would definitely be stories of people that just had blunders and just had a little bit of misfortune that was outside of their control. So, um, But hey, it's another season done. Um, I'll be jumping on board and doing a stack more with Supercoach Talk on their website next year. So, well, next footy year. So really, I'll be doing previews and stuff. I mean, the footy season is starting the same as normal next year, isn't it? So what are we? We're basically October. So look, I'll probably be back in a couple of months doing previews and then we'll do the same format. Feel free to suggest anything. I want to do a little bit of a review on, on my... Um, this season's previews that I did just to highlight that sometimes I do get them right but also sometimes you get them wrong so I want to I haven't even looked through them yet so hopefully the ones that I get right are a little bit of a longer video than the ones I got wrong but that should be a bit of fun take a bit of ownership for how I actually provide a bit of intel for you guys but yeah and and once we can hang out with mates and stuff again I want to do some um, like table tennis videos once they can come over and, and I guess in theory we could do some goal kicking videos pretty soon so that's something that once once the weather kicks in daylight savings isn't too far off as well I reckon we'll try and do some of those but look thanks again for being on board throughout the whole season I know it probably hasn't been my best season in terms of providing you with content because um, it, it was tough to find consistency and routine and it was just a difficult year um, for everyone out there really and myself included sometimes doing these videos or or succeeding in super coach wasn't always i guess the most pressing thing going on but uh look we'll be back next year and we'll be back to some normality and with that will come some real structure and i can't wait to get back into the pre-season it's what i enjoy most i'm already thinking about a few guys that we could possibly select so Again, thank you. I really appreciate if you've been on board throughout the whole journey or if you've just come on recently. I really appreciate those uh, those contributions and those subscriptions. So I'll chat to you guys soon, pretty soon, and we'll talk more. Cheers.